Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with episode number 24 of the Pack Only Road to Glory. And as you can see in the background, we've actually made a little bit of money. A tidy sum made on that 352 formation card. Really didn't expect it to pick up 2,000 coins in the trade pile, so I was absolutely delighted with that. So it's really going to help us push on towards a new pack. We're not quite got enough for uh, for a 5k pack we've got 4100 coins but obviously at the end of the previous episode we did open a seven and a half grand pack and pulled a couple of really really nice players including Nevan Subotic who is starting at the back in this game but this first game of the episode is going to be against this La Liga side with a cheeky Fernando Torres thrown in there as well for good measure and he is actually an extremely good side and uh, to, uh, to go along with that, he was an extremely good player and uh, he absolutely battered me. Now, uh, it was in the rain. I don't like playing in the rain to start off with, but I just completely outclassed me. There was just nothing that I could do uh, to uh, to counteract what he was doing. Like Obviously, so far in uh, the first season in Division 1, um, we were able to hold our own and stay up with uh, a game in hand, I think, if uh, memory serves, or at least you know comfortably stay up. And um, we did come up against a few teams that were similar to this, but uh, the guys that we were playing against weren't necessarily the best. I'm not too sure how the matchmaking works. I'm told it's more on record than um, than your, you know, the uh, the ability of your current squad. Because obviously we've come up against amazing teams like the seven team of the year team with a, a squad full of bronzes and silvers. So it's clearly not based on uh, squad overall rating. But um, as we get further into the uh, further into the RTG, we're obviously going to be coming up against a higher standard of opposition. And uh, maybe last season they may, the uh, the guys who come up against may have had a look at my side and got a little bit complacent. Here I was really really pissed off with the uh, the game mechanics. You could see I clearly moved my cursor or moved the screen all the way to the left to play it a little pass out to my left back, and uh, he still played the the goalkeeper still played the ball straight forwards absolutely fuming considering Dennis had had an absolute screamer go in to bring it back to 3-1 and we were still in the game as you can see we've had chances and a lot of possession but we just weren't taking those chances which was extremely frustrating and uh, the, the guy scored a couple of really really tame goals as well some of the shots just really shouldn't have gone in but uh, this is a, another screamer from Samuel Elto he brought him on after about the hour mark and he scored a really good goal there with the outside of his foot in off the post and then uh, this one his sixth was just really really tame it just trickled and the keeper dived so late and I was just fuming absolutely fuming at uh, Carrasso there and uh, he did in fact get dropped for the next game but you can see uh, whilst we did have a lot of chances they just weren't enough on target and they clearly weren't of a good enough standard to uh, to put his keeper under pressure for him to let them in so uh, really disappointed with that so we came into a second game hoping to make an improvement but it was another equally strong side with Buffon in goal Chiellini and company at the back with Michael and Ashley Cole at wing backs a lot of pace out wide with Bale and Valencia pace up top as well with uh, Ramirez and uh, Sami Nasri in those two forward midfield roles sat behind the improved Falcao with Pirlo holding so it's clearly a of an extremely good and extremely expensive side but Dennis here again showing just how good that left foot is with a gorgeous finish across the keeper in the snow to put us 1-0 up after 12 minutes and uh, we were actually kept the ball a lot better in this game and had a lot uh, even more chances when we were definitely definitely dom dominant in this one and uh, after being embarrassed basically it's the first absolutely p absolute pasting that we've received so far in this uh, in this RTG I really wanted to uh, to come back from that and make sure that we either well I would say either got the draw or um, or got the win, but the the main aim was just not to lose. So, uh, well, unfortunately, there Zudzak manages to cut in after a lucky deflection, puts it just wide, and then Polly here that is going right into the top corner. His goalie Buffon has made an absolutely screaming save. And then Zudzak, who does have really really good set pieces, plays the ball into Sacco, and he just should have buried that as well. So clearly, we're making chances. You can see from the full time stats, 13 efforts on goal, but only three on target, and that is clearly something that we need to improve on. We've got good players in defence. Now we've got great players in midfield and out wide, but we're still missing that one uh, kind of, I don't know, clinical striker. Dennis's left foot has really been very, very good so far, so he's looking like a decent signing. But we've only got Park and Voronin as well. We really need that uh, that clinical finisher that uh, is going to help us see out games. We're coming to a third game of the episode, which is actually going to be a letdown. You can see it's a decent side, not full chemistry, players out of position and out of formation, etc. But... Um, it froze in the menus and then dropped. He said that uh, connection had been lost. I thought, cool, maybe it's lagged out. Maybe it will give us the win. And as we came back to the uh, back to the main menu, uh, it will pop up on the screens in just a minute, saying that uh, it had actually been kicked off the EA servers. 
So I was like, oh, well, uh, maybe that will be both of us and uh, it won't affect us. But as we came back into it, you can see it says, no, you've got a DNF. It's going to affect your multiply, which is, of course, going to affect the amount of coins that we can bring, bring in. And it gave us a 3-0 loss. So uh, after a decent start with one with three points from the opening two games, we actually have three points from the opening three games now through no fault of our own. So we're still looking for survival this season rather than anything else, I think. Got a few games still left to go. Obviously, seven games to get the uh, nine points we need to to stay up in Division One in our second season in it. But uh, that is going to wrap this one to a close, guys. I am actually selling quite a few consumables that I'm def that I'm just not going to use again to try and raise the uh, the coin boost so that uh, we can uh, we can start buying premium gold packs, seven and a half thousand coin packs to kind of get those clinical. Uh, you know, game-winning players that we need to uh, to kind of progress now. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a like. It'd be absolutely amazing if you could do so. There will, of course, be links on screen in the end slate to uh, the previous video and this series in the big window, and in the little window is a link to a random video from earlier on in the week on this channel. So, like I say, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.